So now let's use something called the sweep tool. So to use the sweep tool, I'm going to go to the top view first and I'm going to draw the path which I want to sweep my object upon. So I'm going to go over here onto my spline tool and you can see that I got my spline pen. Let me just take that and I want to draw the shape which I want to sweep onto. So I'm going to make something like an S. So I'm just going to drag it over here. So you can see that now I'm starting to make, make something like an S. Let me just press Ctrl Z. Okay. So just like that. This is the shape, let's say, which I want to sweep upon. So I'm just going to drag it on just like that. And I'm going to press space. So I have my end uh, object right here. So I'm going to middle mouse click over here and go to the front. And here what I'm going to do is draw the shape, um, uh, actually make the shape, choose the shape which I want to um, uh, sweep, uh, sweep uh, with. So I'm going to go over here onto the spline tool and over here you can see that there are many spline options like star, circle and so forth. So let me just select uh, something like a flower here which I want to sweep across and you can see that I can change around the petals according to what I want and also work around with its radius as you can see. So let me go to the perspective view right here and here you go. There, This is uh, my object which I can I'm going to sweep across. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here onto, uh, let's say, my uh, tools right here. So I'm going to go to my extrude menu and over here you can see that there's other options, other effects that you can apply. For example, we can add in sweep as well. So let me click on sweep and over here you can see that sweep is an instance route now. So I want to sweep across this spline. So I'm going to make it a child right here and I'm going to keep flower right uh, right as a child of it. So you can see that flower is a child of sweep now. And if I were to bring in spline, you can see that the sweep does happen, but it does not happen in a proper order. So it is actually taking uh, the spline and uh, a spline and sweeping it across the flower shape. I don't want that. I want it opposite. I want to sweep the flower across the uh, custom spline shape. So I'm just going to reverse it and you can see that this magic actually happens. You can also go to the spline and you can work around with uh, whether you want a cubic shape, a kima shape, just like this, B spline and so forth. So let's say I want more like a cubic shape uh, for a smoother outlook, then you can do that as well. So just like that, you can see that the shape has been uh, sweeped across. So you can see that this is the flower. The good thing is that everything is linked. So you can go over to the flower, you can choose around the petals you want to sweep across and so forth. So you can also reverse this out if you want to. So it doesn't make any sense on the shape. You can work around with the inner radius as you can see and the whole shape actually works out just like that. So let's go to the sweep menu and see the options located right here. So you can increase isoform subdivision if you want to. You're not going to see this. But here you can see that the end scale is 100%. I can actually increase this and decrease the uh, end growth right here. You can see that everything can be actually managed out. So if I were to go to the top, you can see that overall view, you can actually see this uh, quite much. So I can increase the end scale. You can see that this is 152 times more than this. So 152% more, and this is just 100%. As you can see, that's the end scale. As you can see, I can increase this or decrease it. I can also change the end rotation. So if I were to click and drag this, you can see that the rotation happens and you get the spiral like effect just like this. So you can see that you can uh, choose a starting point over here. Uh, and then uh, the thing is you can also animate this, which you're going to see in further lessons. So these are the options you can work with. So end scale and there's the start growth and anything else that you can work with right over here. So let me just go down over here and see uh, what else I can do. So this is the end growth. So you can just increase this out. So over here, there's the scaling option. So if you were to go over down right here, you can see that the end growth it starts like this and then ends all around over here. So I can choose the amount of end growth I want. I can also add in uh, other point over here and then drag this down. You can see how the transition happens. So the growth is uh, right up to this point. It goes down and then goes above again. So I can actually go down to a negative value as well, as you can see. So I can control the growth value of any shape just like this. Make it makes it very easy for modeling just like that, as you can see. There's also the rotation that you can control right here. So you can see that you can control the rotation amount and the way the rotation happens. If I were to press control uh, and then click here, you can go down and up just like that and then change the rotation right here. 
So that is how you can actually uh, work around with the object right here. So besides that, you also have options for caps right now is flat caps, as you can see right here. Right now is the bevel shape of round. There's the curve that you can work with. So you can go over here and then you can uh, have some extended shape. Let me increase the size. You can see that you have a bevel effect right here. So if I were to actually drag this and you can make this quite smooth, as you can see, go over here, make this quite smooth as well. So let me just click this and make this smooth right here. And there you go. So it is quite smooth as you can see the end result. So you can go over here and this is the curb. You can go for a solid. This is the straight also steps. So let me just increase this in size. And you can see that the steps effect is coming into play just like this the step effect, solid effect right here. This is the straight, the curve effect that we saw and the round effect, as you can see. So according to uh, what output you want, you can simply arrange this out and everything else this happens just like that so you can have the same thing in end cap uh, and the start cap so if i were to um, just uh, let's say click this out you can see that the end cap is disabled now you can just increase this and you can work around with the start cap and the end cap you can also have separate bevel controls so that you have one effect for the end cap and one for the start cap so i'm gonna keep everything all by itself you can also bevel outside as you can see right here decrease the height increase this out just like that decrease the size and there you go that's how everything happens once you actually uh, choose bevel outside so let me just keep it back on to default right here so that is how you can work with the sweep tool inside of cinema 4d hope you guys le learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe